Well, tonight there are new questions about how the Air Force handled what they knew about Devin Kelly's past. Kelly served from 2010 until his bad conduct discharge in 2014. The majority of that time at Holloman Air Force Base. It's outside of Alamo Gordo, New Mexico, and that's where Brett Buffington is live tonight with new details about Kelly's disturbing past. Brett? Well, we certainly know why Kelly was kicked out of the Air Force. His court martial focused on the attack on his ex-wife and his ex-wife's son. But tonight, the questions are about an attack police say Kelly was planning at this airbase five years ago. Tonight, the Air Force is still working to get us answers about Devin Kelly's time at this New Mexico Air Force Base. It's where Kelly's career in the armed forces ended, discharged for attacking his ex-wife and her son. But according to police, it's where Kelly was planning a deadly attack on his chain of command. The details on that from a 2012 police report when Kelly ran away from this mental health hospital near El Paso. The hospital today wouldn't tell us about Kelly's stay. Police reports from the day he escaped did. Police say Kelly was being treated for depression, ADHD, and anxiety. Details they learned as they searched for Kelly, who was considered a, quote, high-risk patient and a danger to himself and others. The supervisor at the time, we were instructed to canvas the area, uh, search. Lieutenant Juan Ortega was an officer assigned to help find Kelly, but he didn't know much about the man he was looking for. That's all new to me. I, I did not remember any of that. Dispatchers told Ortega and the other officers on the search Kelly bragged to other patients he'd ordered guns online in the days before he escaped. Kelly was found at this downtown El Paso bus station with a ticket waiting on a ride back to San Antonio. Tonight, the Secretary of Defense has ordered the Inspector General's office to look into if any criminal investigation that happened on this base should have put Kelly on a watch list for law enforcement across the nation. We're live in Alamogordo, New Mexico tonight. Brad Buffington, KINS 5 Eyewitness News.